if you're gonna start vlogging, you have to have the right camera. Just because a camera can shoot video does not mean that it can vlog. In this video, we're gonna find the best vlogging cameras, but also at the best price point for you. And in this video, I actually hit a camera that's objectively a bad camera, but it's probably the world's best vlogging camera. Let's get into it. By the way, if you're new to the channel, we talk about anything and everything to do with cameras, helping you find the best camera for you, but also helping you take better photos and videos every single day. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content. Let's get into the video. The first camera we're talking about today is the G7X Mark III. The reason I put this camera first on the list is because not only is it the easiest camera to pick up and use, but it's also one of the most affordable. My favorite thing about this camera, apart from its ease of use, is that it has gorgeous colors right out of the box. You basically don't need to edit any of your photos and videos out of this camera. The colors look amazing and skin tone especially looks really good. Also on top of that, this camera has one of the most essential things that every single vlogging camera needs, which is a flip up screen that allows you to see yourself. And on top of that, this camera has fantastic autofocus and touch autofocus, so your camera will keep you in focus most of the time, and if you're ever out of focus, it's easy to catch yourself in focus by simply touching the screen. And the G7X Mark III also has an input for an external microphone, but here's the catch. Because the flip-up screen comes up to the top, you actually have to get an adapter that allows you to put your microphone to the side of the camera, otherwise you will not be able to see yourself when you're vlogging. I have seen some people put the microphone at the bottom of the camera. I think that actually is a pretty ingenious idea, but it's kind of hard when you need to put your camera down. Overall, this camera is super small and super light, so you can shoot with it handheld all day long. On top of that, the stabilization in this camera is really, really good, so you will get very smooth and steady shots with this camera. In terms of raw horsepower, this camera does full HD all the way to 120 frames per second. So, not only is this camera fantastic for vlogging, but it also allows you to make those juicy slow motion montages that you see all over YouTube. And this camera also does 4K in 24 and 30 frames per second. Personally, I don't really think anybody's trying to shoot their vlogs in 4K, but it's nice to know that option is available to you and you're kind of future-proofing yourself. And one of my favorite features about this camera is the built-in lens. Not only is it super sharp and nice, but it's also 24 to 100 millimeters. That's a pretty nice zoom range. It's gonna allow you to capture pretty much everything you need to. And the aperture on this lens is f1.8 to 2.8, so this lens is going to give you lots of that blurry background, shallow depth of field look, but also this camera is pretty good in low light. And in case you wanna save a little bit of money because maybe you don't need the 4K or the 120 frames per second, you can actually get the Canon G7X Mark II, the previous version of this camera. The two cameras are almost identical. The only difference is the Mark II does not have an input for external audio, but the internal audio in that camera is pretty solid. There's only two downsides to this camera. The first thing is it's a small camera, so naturally you have a small battery and you will definitely need to carry two to three extra batteries for a full day of shooting. And the second thing is, while a point and shoot camera is super convenient, it's just not going to look like a proper mirrorless or a DSLR camera. And if you want your vlogs to look anything like your favorite vloggers, you probably wanna look into the Canon M50. Which brings me perfectly to the second camera on this list, the Canon M50, one of the top rated vlogging cameras in the market right now. The Canon M50 has all the features you would want in a Canon camera, like great colors right out of the box and that amazing autofocus. And because this is a mirrorless camera, you're going to get three major benefits from this camera. The first thing is, because it has a bigger sensor, you're going to get more shallow depth of field, and it's just going to look more cinematic and closer to what you see on those bigger YouTube channels. Second, because you have the option of changing your lenses, you're gonna be able to switch up your lenses and simply get more out of your camera and get a better look out of your images and photos overall. And the third benefit is kind of technical. But simply put, you can buy something known as a speed booster, and that speed booster will A, give you the depth of field and the field of view of a full frame $5,000 camera, only for $150. It's a whole bunch of technical sorcery, so don't ask me how it's done, because it's gonna take too long to explain, but with that $150 speed booster, your camera's going to look a lot more like a professional high-end DSLR than a $600 mirrorless camera. And having the option to use a speed booster 
also kind of future proofs your camera. Down the line, if you wanna get better lenses, you wanna make your production just look better overall, instead of buying a new camera, you simply need to get a $150 adapter and boom, just like that, I know it sounds crazy, but like magic, your camera's going to look way better. Also, if you wanna learn how to take the camera equipment that you already own and turn it into an asset that's going to make you money every single month, check out the link in the description down below. The Side Hustle course was specifically made by me and my team to take the average person that just loves photo and video and show them how to start a side business that makes them money every single month just using the camera equipment they already own. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars buying new camera equipment to start this business or hundreds of hours learning how to start it. The Side Hustle course is the easiest way to take the camera equipment you already own and turn it into an asset that makes you money every single month. Check out the link in the description down below and I promise you will not be sorry. And you'll have the option of using professional high-end lenses on your camera. And on top of that, it has everything a vlogger would need. It has a side articulating screen so you can see yourself. It has great autofocus so your face is always in focus. And most importantly, it has an input for external audio so that your audio is crisp and sharp. And just like the other Canon camera, this camera is small and light so you can run it handheld all day, but because it's a small camera, it has a small battery, and you will need to carry two to three spare batteries with you. And the last thing I wanna mention is the video horsepower in this camera. It does do full HD up to 60 frames per second, but when you go into 120 frames per second, fortunately, that's in 720p mode, and that does not look good at all. And this camera does have 4K, but once you go into 4K mode, it zooms into your image, which basically makes it unusable for vlogging. It is simply way too close to your face, and as much as I like this camera, if you wanna vlog in 4K, this is not the camera for you. But have no fear, I have a solution for you. The camera that I recommend to most people in this situation is actually the Sony a6400. Not only does that camera have better specs than the M50, but it also does 120 frames per second in full HD, and it does 4K with no crop. But that camera is about three to $400 more than the Canon M50, and it's kind of overkill for vlogging. If you're somebody that wants to vlog in 4K but also makes content, the Sony a6400 is a pretty good buy. But if you're strictly a vlogger, I actually recommend the Sony ZV-1. And in my opinion, it is the world's best vlogging camera, hands down, but it's objectively a bad camera otherwise. Here's what I mean. The Sony ZV-1 has every single thing a vlogger could possibly want, but for the price point, it doesn't do things like just shooting photos and videos that well for the price point. The Sony ZV-1 is extremely light and actually weighs less than your iPhone. And on top of that, it has a side articulating screen with amazing eye tracking autofocus so you are never out of focus when it comes to vlogging. And it has extra large buttons so that you can easily find what button you're looking for when you can't see the button itself. And on top of that, it has a separate button for recording video and a separate button for shooting photos. That tiny little change actually makes a huge difference to vloggers. This way, you never have to spend extra time fiddling around and finding the right button and you can just get to doing your job. But there are three things that really make this camera special for vloggers. This camera has a super sharp 24 to 70 millimeter lens with an aperture of f1.8 to 2.8, which is actually not as good as the cheaper G7X Mark II. But what makes this camera special is the fact that it has an enhanced bokeh mode. This mode digitally adds that blurry background effect to your videos because most point and shoot cameras really can't get that blurry depth of field effect. By digitally adding it, you're able to stay nice and compact with a point and shoot while getting the look of a mirrorless camera. And the second thing that makes this camera really great for vloggers is that for a little bit more money, you can actually get a grip for this camera. That grip has all the buttons that you could possibly need while vlogging like a zoom rocker, a record and stop for both photos and videos, and a custom button that you can put anything you want on that. Personally, I like to put my focus on there. Anytime I find I'm kind of out of focus, I hit that button and immediately I'm in focus. And the third feature that I absolutely love about this camera is called product showcase. If you're a vlogger that holds up products to your camera, you'll often notice if you hold the product up to the camera, it won't immediately focus to the product and your camera will kind of struggle. This mode is specifically made for people that show products on camera. In this mode, the camera will immediately flip to the product and then back to your face as you put the product down. If you pick up a product, it'll go to the product, you put the product down, it'll go back to your face. This will make your life so much simpler and it'll stop any random mistakes while recording. As someone who talks in front of the camera quite a bit, nothing is more annoying than trying to show a product, having the focus mess up, 
and having to do like 9 million takes. The reason I think the ZV-1 is such a good content creation and vlogging camera is because it has all these little tiny things that they've added that makes your life easier, specifically if you're a vlogger or a content creator. If you're a vlogger and content creator, I highly recommend spending that little bit of extra cash to get this camera. It's going to make your life so much easier and it's just going to make it easier for you to get good content. But if you're not a vlogger or content creator, all these extra features that you're paying for are simply not going to be useful and most people are going to be just fine with the G7X Mark III, which is significantly cheaper. So let's do a quick recap. If you're somebody that strictly vlogs, like if you're Peter McKinnon, Casey Neistat, David Dobrik, I highly recommend getting the Sony CV-1. But if you're somebody that vlogs, but also does a little bit of content creation, a little bit of influencer work, and you shoot things other than yourself, I actually recommend getting the Sony a6400 or the Canon M50. However, there are one specific group of people that watch these videos that aren't just trying to vlog, they're trying to take over YouTube. They wanna be the next big thing on YouTube. And if you are one of those few people, I highly recommend looking into the next camera. This camera is going to supercharge all of your work and it's going to make you an assassin ready to take over the YouTube game. And that camera is the Canon 90D. The Canon 90D is a proper, full-blown DSLR style body. It's robust and you can put it through anything. This camera will pretty much never break down on you and it will put up with anything you throw at it. The Canon 90D, like every Canon camera, has amazing autofocus and amazing colors, but it also has something very special. This camera has a 32 megapixel sensor. And not only does it give you extra resolution when shooting photos, but it also gives you 4K without any crop. And this isn't consumer or iPhone 4K. This camera will give you professional, high-end 4K ready for commercial use. When shooting on 4K with this camera, you make absolutely zero sacrifices and you really get that high-end 4K quality. And this camera also does full HD up to 120 frames per second. Again, not making any sacrifices whatsoever when it comes to image quality. I actually recommend this camera over the a6400. It's a little bit more, only about $150 more, but it gives you so, so, so much more in the robust design of this camera. And one of my favorite things about this camera is that it actually has intelligent autofocus. It does face tracking and object tracking intelligently. You can simply tap the touchscreen, pick whatever you wanna track, and even as you move around, the camera's intelligent enough to track it and keep it in focus. And on top of that, because it's a professional camera, the batteries in this camera will easily last you four to five hours. Easily, you only need about two of them to get through an entire shoot day. And in case you're wondering, it does have an input for external audio. You're going to get great crisp audio and you can also monitor your audio with a headphone jack while you're shooting. The only downside of this camera is that the body is a little bit large and you might have just a tiny bit of difficulty going handheld all day, but if you put a tripod or a gorilla pod at the bottom of this camera, you should be just fine. And overall, the 90D is the perfect vlogging camera for somebody that's really, really serious about making their content on YouTube and literally wants to take over the game. Also, quick side note, if you do want a DSLR style body for your vlogging camera, but you're okay with not having 4K, I also recommend looking to Canon T8i or the SL2. They have 4K, but with that crop that I talked about earlier, but everything else is there from the 90D. And honestly, they're really good cameras. The DSLR style body is really, really robust. Well guys, that's pretty much it for my favorite vlogging cameras. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see all of my future videos. Also, let me know in the comments down below what camera you guys are personally thinking of getting, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.